So the this this third receptor that you've you've yeah. identified, um, it's it's necessary for regulating the circadian system, as you mentioned. Um, and you mentioned this is this is an interaction with the visual system, which in in your book you you address the then sort of the next problem from there is well then how do how do blind folks um, yeah. regulate their circadian rhythm? Yes, and that's that's been the one of the, the studies I've been really engaged with most recently. So we're working with Blind Veterans UK, and in fact they have a close relationship with Blind Veterans USA, and so we've been working with those those individuals and. They are, the veterans are an extraordinary group. They are determined to be independent and leave as, mm. uh, live as normal a life as possible, despite their, their loss of eyes or radical uh, destruction of, of, of their eye. And, you know, in the conversations, we, one, one chap was telling me, uh, I feel as though I'm being constantly tricked by my body. It's telling me, when I should get up and go to bed, but then my friends and family are still asleep. Um, and one said, it, "It's I remember what jet lag was like, and this is unremitting, constant jet lag." And so it's it's a really devastating impact. You've lost your sense of space through vision, but you've also lost your sense of time. So again, one chap was saying, "I, I knew on a Wednesday, I would cut the." cut the grass. Um, and so I woke up, uh, I knew it was Wednesday, and so went downstairs and started cutting the grass. And that's pretty impressive. I mean, they've worked out ways in which you can get the lawnmower out, you know, right. and cut the grass. And of course, they can't see the impact of cutting the grass. Right, right. But then this chap's wife came down and said, I think you need to stop. It's it's three o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> and, and it gives you a sense that these individuals are are time blind. And so what we've been doing most recently is because, you know, since the discovery of these receptors, a big chunk of what we've been doing, and, and we're one of the few labs really involved in this in this area, is, discuss, is, is trying to deduce how they signal to the molecular clockwork. What are they actually doing? We've got some great discoveries over the past few years, and I, I work very closely with Arti Yaganath um, uh, in, in, the, in the team. And in the process of understanding those signaling pathways, we can then think about ways of triggering those signaling pathways to fool the clock that it's seen light. Oh. It's it's so cool because yeah, yeah. We, we've done all, we've, we've done all the mouse work and okay. um, we can actually shift the biological clock of mice using a drug which we know is activating the same pathway that light activates. So we've gone all the way through that. In fact, we've gone to first in human trials, which we're collaborating with our, with our colleagues in Australia. And they have shown that the drug is safe. We kind of knew it would be because it's what's called a repurposed drug. So right. it was developed for something else. In fact, Parkinson's. It didn't work for Parkinson's, but they went to extensive clinical trials. Um, and so we've replicated those, you know, does it do any harm? No, it doesn't. So we're now ready to work with our, our friends and colleagues in Blind Veterans uh, to uh, work on those individuals who have no eyes. And can we give them back a sense of time? I'm sure we can. So I, I think that that if I can end end my career with that, I will be more than happy. But but I suppose the implications are just it's more than the blind. You know, we've worked on different patient groups. One mm -hmm. group has been schizophrenia, and where the sleep wake profile of those individuals is absolutely smashed. And what I, I, I envisage these drugs to be useful for is giving you sort of a, a stabilization, getting everything realigned, and then using light or, or you know, to, 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 to continue with that stabilization. But the clock disturbance in those individuals is so profound. I think we need to sort of use a drug to ease it into the right place and then uh, use what light. What does the sleep profile of someone with schizophrenia look like? Um, it's very variable uh, from the extreme of, of an utterly smashed clock with no 24-hour patterns at all. I mean, it, it really is. When I first saw the data, I was absolutely gob gobsmacked um, uh, to individuals who are either drifting through time as mm -hmm. if they had no eyes, but they seem to be 
fully sighted, uh, to others showing massively fragmented patterns. So it's very variable. And, and I think what that variability might indicate is the variable uh, underlying nature of schizophrenia. We now know that there's not a gene for schizophrenia. Right. There's a whole bunch of sort of things that line up. And I suspect the sleep-wake pattern that you get might actually give us a handle on the underlying nature of the condition. That's fascinating. And just anecdotally, I used to work at a, a school f for blind students. And yeah. I, I would notice in the mornings that a lot of them would come in very sleepy. Um, they were younger students, so I just attributed it to that. Yeah. Um, but I'm just sort of imagining sort of the impact of, of, of a drug like that um, in those populations. So what would that look like? Is it that they, they take a pill every day? And yeah, then they tell a, take a pill every day at a particular time. Um, and uh, that would hopefully stabilize the clock. Now, I think... What we need to do in parallel with the drug development is get a very simple app saying, you know, ping, now is the right time you, you, you take your, you know, your tablet. Mm -hmm. There will also be some variability. As I said, most people have slightly long body clocks, so we, we know when to give a drug. Uh, but there is a small percentage which have short body clocks, clocks uh, about uh, 10%. So we might want to give the drug at a slightly different time. So it's not completely trivial, but it's all resolvable and easy to do.